Hey guys, so today we're gonna be making some um, taters, potatoes. Um, we're gonna be making a baked potato stock loaded with um, hot wings. I've gotten a lot of requests for the hot wings, especially. So I'm definitely gonna have to, you know, put all my into it. And then um, the potato, <coughs> excuse me. I haven't really made it much, but let's see what I can do. Anyway, this is just a basic recipe of whatsoever. I'm gonna have bacon, obviously can't have loaded baked potatoes without bacon. Sour cream. Um, we're also gonna have salsa because I love salsa on my um, loaded baked potatoes. We're gonna have huge baked potatoes and uh, we're also gonna have hot wings. I already said that. Oh, and shrimp. And people usually don't put shrimp on theirs, but I love shrimp. As you can see, I put it in everything I cook. And uh, so, you should too. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. So first with your mashed with your potatoes, you just wanna go ahead and find where on it you are gonna be poking hose or whatever. Usually it's gonna be on the rougher side. So the flatter side you wanna leave for it to lay down on. So you're just gonna put several stabs into it from the front or the top of it for the heat to go in. And so it will be easier for you to also tear open. So here it is. Put in your, do that to all three of them and go ahead and put it in the water for it to boil. You wanna boil it on high for about, um, let's say 20 minutes, cause it will also go in the oven for another 20. Right, the last one. To make a hot sauce, you want about one fourth of a cup of butter in your frying pan. While it's melting, you can go ahead and add the soy sauce. We're gonna do about three tablespoons of soy sauce. You can use the packaged ones from the Chinese restaurant or you can buy your own. Next, you're gonna Next, you're gonna go ahead and add your hot sauce as much as you want. Some people like their wings bathed in the hot sauce. Some people like it just right. Well, how I like mine is just thick enough and, you know, plentiful enough to bathe, in the, to bathe the chicken in but not have enough for you to want to drink at the end. Um, so that should be enough. Once that comes to a boil or a fry, you can add some honey or regular sugar just to make it sticky enough for the um, chicken. And then you're ready for the oven. Close to a boil, you wanna go ahead and add about one tablespoon of sugar. If you have brown sugar, that's even better. I don't right now, so. Next, we're gonna season it a little. So we're gonna put one Maggie cube. A lot of crushed red peppers because it's supposed to be hot and you want it to have the pepper flakes in there. It makes it look prettier for some reason. So about a full tablespoon of crushed red peppers. We're also going to add oregano. And lastly, some freshly cut parsley. I use Crystal's hot sauce. You also want to get the Sweet Baby Buffalo Wing Sauce as well. It's thicker. And you want to add as much of it as you want into that and mix it up. So it gives you a sweet, sour, and seasoned up taste on your hot wings. Because if you leave it to the hot sauce, it will stay sour and just get thicker. Mmm. Tastes so good. Usually when I make wings you, or seasoned chicken at all to fry, especially or bake, you will notice that I put lime, lime juice or lemon juice in it. I did it today and that's because I was going to put some inside of the hot sauce. So we went ahead and sliced up a lime, lemon I mean, and a little bit from the end I used to squeeze in here and the rest of it is going to go in when I mix up the chicken with the hot sauce and then we're going to throw all of them in the oven. It's just a flavor thing. Yeah, about 10 minutes cooking this on low. I got my stove on two, by the way. It should look something like this. 
once it is at that consistency, then you're ready to add it to your chicken. Once your chicken is brown, you can go ahead and add the thick hot sauce to it. So after about 20 to 25 minutes, your potatoes should be halfway cooked. You just wanna go ahead and sprinkle olive oil over them and season it with black pepper. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the chicken seasoning mainly because everybody has used salt and I would prefer to be different. Not only so, but salt is really not a seasoning. So off we go. A little bit of chicken seasoning. Just enough to give the skin some taste. And some black pepper. A couple of sprinkles, maybe half a teaspoon of both. So you just wanna go ahead and rub the potatoes. It's gonna be hot, so be careful. Or if you're tender-handed, go ahead and wait till it gets cold. But you wanna rub all of that in, make sure it catches on. And then you wanna put it in a bowl that holds it steady and get ready to throw it in the oven at 400 degrees. Once your chicken is done, find a big bowl that has a lid. And you just wanna go ahead and pour up the hot sauce all over it. And at this stage, if you end up needing more hot sauce, you can just go ahead and put some fresh one in there. it will go ahead and thicken in the oven as well. This seems good enough for me though. So next you want to go ahead and do your shrimp. That's a pan butter spray in the pan with the shrimp. And then you just want to go ahead and add a little bit of black pepper because you want that nice color to be on it. The contrast of colors I mean. And some crushed red peppers. And comes time for the shrimp to be fully cooked. You want to go ahead and add a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of butter. And that's going to give it the, you know, juice so it's not all dry on top of your potatoes. And some fresh parsley, because I love parsley, and oregano. Next, we use the same pan and do the bacon. You want to fry it. I like my bacon chunky, but you, uh, most people do it crispy. However, I'm going to do it chunky because I like my bacon chunky. So we're going to go ahead and just fry that lightly. Once it is cooked to your liking, you go ahead and take it out, let it get cold or at least cool down a little bit. And then you wanna go ahead and just run your knife through it and make it as small as possible so you have little chunks of bacon. So for your bacon, you just wanna go ahead and Next, you wanna go ahead and make your salsa because we don't like cold salsa on this channel. So you're just gonna do about one tablespoon of olive oil. Get that salsa, pop it open, and put as much as you want right in there. Mix it up. Once it is warm enough, you can turn it off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some seasoning to this because we, on this channel, season everything to our liking. 
and not just leave it store bought because they do it generalized for the general population and not for you specifically. So why not go ahead and make it for you since you're the one cooking it? Next that up, that was um parsley, oregano, lemon pepper seasoning, and lastly we add a little bit of chicken seasoning. That's about half a, ta a teaspoon. Mix it in, turn off your stove, let the rest of the heat on the burner cook that up. Get those out of the oven and get ready to eat. Next, you want to go ahead and cut your tater in half. You then want to make sure the skin stays intact. Grab a bowl, scoop as much of the um, potato you can as clean as possible without breaking the skin, which I did a very poor job of. And you're gonna scoop that all into one bowl. Next, you want to get your stuffing, add seasoning. We're going to do about half a teaspoon of everything again, because that's standard. Some black pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic salt or less, and just a tad bit of beef broth seasoning. Then we're gonna go ahead, grab our spoon, and mix that in. And while it's still warm, you wanna go ahead and add butter for it to be creamy. Because butter makes everything great, except your insides. <laughs> you don't wanna make these like mashed potatoes, so you just wanna mash them enough to look like filling inside of the potatoes but not all the way. I mean, by all means, if you prefer it, like mashed potatoes, then go ahead. But I don't, so. Once that is mixed properly, you wanna go ahead and grab your salsa. And put just a little bit in there. As the rest will go on top of the potatoes. Mix that in. We're gonna go ahead and add a little more butter because we want it creamier. Mix that in. And lastly, we add sour cream. About two spoonfuls, just enough to have it in the general taste as you're gonna have more of it on top. Once that is mixed in well, you get your potatoes and get ready to fill them up. Here we have potato number one. Just cook that in there. Make sure it spreads all over. You want it a little bit high because that's what makes it look loaded. Do that for all your potatoes. Next, on top of your warm potatoes, you want to go ahead and add your cheese. I got two cheese blend, that's mozzarella and cheddar. Put that all on there. And then you add then you add the sour cream 
you want a full spoon because you're going to do two on each potato. Lastly, the bacon.